Inebe, if you're speaking there about the Twitter ban and, of course, the suspension of the ban. And moving on, and Billiton Rivers residents are calling for the adoption of modular refinery clean energy. Residents of Port Arcot River State Capital have described the state government's fight against illegal oil bunkering and suit in the state as a welcome development. In a broadcast, the governor had declared 19 illegal oil bunkering kingpins wanted and tasked council chairman and traditional rulers to guard their domains against the activity. We have a report. The soot emission in Port Harcourt and its environs continues to be a major concern for residents who attribute the cost to illegal oil bunkering and gas flaring by multinational companies in the Niger Delta. I do not think the River State government is doing enough to tackle the issue of suit. If enough was being done, the governor would have released the report of the committee he set up on suit, which we've not seen the report here today. So if we see that report, which is a process of investigation, we'll get to know the sources of this suit. If the state government said the local government should clamp down on bunkering activities, it is going to be a holistic matter. We are responsible men of the society who will be engaged to engage this bunkering. It can be a dialogue team. But if you say you can get a youth boys that are not properly fed to go and start fighting bunkering, of course, these bunkers will take care of these boys and then this menace will continue. It will be recalled that in the past few months, Petron has been fighting this battle. We have been going from places to places, smoking out the operators of artisanal refinery, otherwise known as Bow Fire and River State. We are happy that the River State government has come all out through the directives of the governor to the local government chairman to fight this fight. They suggest that the best way to curb illegal oil bunkering is by creating jobs for the team in youths. We here at Youth and Environmental Advocacy Center, we are working at modalities of creating and establishing solar farms in communities starting this 2022 so that youths who are involved in these processes can get other alternative opportunities within and around those solar power systems to be able to end their living. Diplomatic solution can also be on stream. If you arrest or clamp down on the artisanal refinery operators, you bring them to book and give them a, a, an op, a alternative of setting up a modular refinery. I'm sure that between now and the next few months, this area would have been turned around to become an employment hub for the nation. Is it wrong for a state government to build a refinery? Every Niger Delta state is big. They can build refineries for them. Produce. If, if you say, if, if, it, if it is the modular refineries, you do it and do it well. Let the boys come. Engage them. The police has a big bone in the throats of illegal oil bunkers in recent times. A move commended by the people. And we now be joined by an environmentalist of uh, engineer Adebola Shabi, who was also a one-time managing director of the Lagos State Environmental Protection Agency. Good to have you join us, engineer. Yeah, good afternoon, um, Loretta. Yes, good afternoon I, from the U.S. It's oh, it's late know, in the I'm night here in Nigeria. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. All right, um, I've listened to your conversation on different types of pollution and that, that's starting from noise to fumes. But this time around, some parts of the Niger Delta uh, is plagued with soot. Port Harcourt and River State and its environment, uh, environs, with extension to neighboring Bielsa State, have been living with soot pollution for about five years now. That's in rivers. Now, the governor of River State uh, blamed this on illegal bunkering activities. Do you agree with him, or are there other factors responsible for suit? Yeah, I heard what um, one of the speakers said earlier on. This is due to um, unemployment over there. I mean, we have all these young guys, young boys around doing nothing. They, definitely they will dwell into illegal things, right? And um, that's why they have resulted into illegal bunkering. And unknowingly to them that this oil, the oil we're talking about is highly flammable. So the moment there's anything over there, any little scratch or any little light over there, there'll be explosion. So when there's explosion, 
there's going to be so there's going to be a lot of air pollution some of these gases in the environment unknowingly to them that they are also endangering their lives look at them doing all this illegal bunker not knowing that the fumes from the from the um from the oil mm. definitely is it is the pms that are using our product right now the fumes definitely will definitely penetrate into their respiratory tracts most of these boys most of these young guys when you take them for um medical checkup go and check their lungs they have most of them going to have lung cancer or some respiratory tract diseases and so on and so forth look at the issue of the carbon monoxide coming out from that from that um film we, we look i mean the fire we're looking at now mm -hmm. the carbon monoxide over there now they're definitely going to inhale this thing it's definitely the gas and it's going to um um, um react or deplete with the oxygen in their bloodstream causing carbon oxygen so it means you're agreeing with the governor of river state that this is caused suit is caused by illegal oil bunkering or i was asking if there are other factors that could be responsible for suit yeah there are other, no, other factors i just told you look at the issue now that they are um doing illegal bunkering unknowingly to them that in case of any scratch over there there's going to be fire right that is one of the causes of that soot. Definitely, out of soot, you can get it from vehicle emission. You can get from your generators. You can get from burning of coal and firewood. You understand? So that is why the government is working on this aspect. I mean, the federal government of Nigeria is working on that aspect. That we should all result into using LPG gas. Okay, let Instead me take you... Let me take you down to, since you've, you've mentioned the, the federal government, you know, the Nigerian government had long launched an initiative to reduce um, dangerous air pollution. Uh, and that's, that initiative is called Supporting National Action Planning, uh, SNAP, yep. as an acronym. Now, this aims at reducing short-lived uh, climate pollutants like the suit and others, just as you said. But is there really a willpower to have clean air in Nigeria? Uh, as other parts, just as you mentioned, it's not just from the illegal oil bunkering, but other fumes from the cars, from generation. Is there really a willpower uh, from the side of the government to ensure that Nigeria has clean air? Yes. I'm going to use Lagos State as the best case. Let me use Lagos State now. Lagos State um, is doing a lot on this issue of air pollution. Um, in Lagos today now, we have what we call the uh, vehicular emission. The, your vehicles must undergo vehicular emission test every year. So that is another source of reducing emission to the environment, number one. Number two, Lagos State has introduced um, this issue of the LPG gas that you see in Lagos today. I will, I, I'm saying I'm using Lagos as a test. Go out in Lagos today. Most of the houses that were using stove, that were using firewood in, in the past, about 70 to 80% are now, they are now using gas to cook. So that has reduced the, um, the air emission. So, but I don't know what we're doing in Nigeria. What are, the, I mean, do we actually have all these data? How many houses have resulted in using gases? How many are still using um, firewoods and stove. Do we have all these data? That is the question I'm asking. We don't have all these things. If we have all these um, data I'm talking about now, we can improve on this data to ensure before the end of 2025 we could have uh, gone out with the issue of um, air pollution. So you, you speak about definitely. So you speak so about the it, yeah. Please go it on. Is, it is, it is, um, 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 look at, um, I said, Lagos State. I'm going to use Lassepa. Lassepa is really doing a good work and doing a lot of advocacy in the issue of reduction of this air pollution. They have installed many air, um, um, air monitoring stations around Lagos State to capture some data. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how it has been translated now. But I know they're working seriously on this. Okay, because you talk, you, the, uh, with the World Bank, 
with the World Bank and Lagos State Government, they have procured some air monitoring stations for... Engineer, you, which engineer you spoke about the LPG, and of course it's yeah. not coming... Um, with a low price, uh, I think I got one recently. I think the yes, twelve kg, about seven thousand plus. Thank God it's even down a bit. At a lower price. So right. how how can how can the country then have the data of people who can afford the LPG when the price is already very high? So they go back to things that would cause suit. Yes, definitely you are hundred percent right. That is where the federal government needs to come in now to subsidize that um, issue of the LPG gas, right? Um, Mr. President, uh, uh, President Mama Dubari, I could remember last year, it was at the um, Climate Change Summit in Paris, right? And it committed that Nigeria will reduce the issue of the greenhouse gases to the environment. You understand what I'm saying now? But are we doing enough? That's the question mark. The only state um, I think is doing its best is Lagos State. And I know with what you just said now about um, Governor Wiki, Governor Wiki to Governor Wiki, um, excuse me, is doing its best too bad. It's not only this illegal country. There are many other things. Look at the oil companies over there. What are they doing to abate the environmental degradation over there? Are you with me, uh, Loretta? All right. Thank you. Are you and with me? Yes, I am with you. You want yes. to round up what your co the, comment? What are the, the, the oil companies doing to remedy it? They are not doing enough, right? Their water, underground water, and the surface water over there are highly polluted in the in river states. So, so the governor should be more proactive to let them know, to do more to that. In Lagos, we're doing our best. Thank Lagos, you very much. I will strongly tell you, no, hold on a second. I will strongly tell you, look at the way the Lagos State Government with Masefa is doing now. Doing or uh, trying to do away with Asia of the plastics too. Mm. You know, there's another thing we are not thinking about in Nigeria today is the Asia of the plastic pollution. Are you getting me now? But Lasepa is two steps ahead now. Thank you very much, Engineer Adebola Shabi. And do have yourself a, a wonderful day out there. We'll reach out to you again as no, 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 time goes yeah, on. Enjoy your vacation. Enjoy you. your vacation. We'll see you again. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.